What's up, Tropa Peeps? It's your best friend, Kim Monkey TV, and welcome back to my channel. As a YouTuber, I always want to have a likable thumbnail. And today I'm going to show you how I make my thumbnail for this video itself as easy as just a couple of minutes using the Photoshop. So all I have to do is to pose, pretending that I'm going to cut out myself from the background. So let's do this. So there you go. Let's transfer the file and move on with the Photoshop. Open your Photoshop and open a new file. Just leave the sizes there is because that is the actual size of the photo taken. Then press Ctrl V to paste the screenshot. Now let's proceed with the tools. These variants of lasso tools and cropping tools are most likely useful for those professionals. And it will take a lot of time before it gets done. Good thing there is this another cropping tool called Quick Selection Tool. And I'm going to show you how does it work. Click the selected detail of the photo that you wanted to retain. Now you can see those small dash lines grabbing around the areas automatically while we are spreading the pointer. You can also change the size of the tool depending on how stiff the details you wanted to include. How about cropping out excess background inside the detail of your photo? Simply click the Alt key and locate your pointer to where you want it to exclude. So how about the hair? A lot of small strands and it's impossible to cut them out and possibly the background can be seen in between the strands. Well, it's all up to you. Either you want it to include the strands or cut them out as well. Again, press Alt key to exclude if you wish to cut the strands. Let's check if there are more parts we need to exclude. I prefer using the quick selection tool rather than using the lasso and the cropping tools 
in which you need to overlay every curves and small details and it will take hours of your time. Now it's time to extract the background. Click Refine Selection Edge. At the bottom, let's check that the contaminate color to remove some color fringe of our photo and place some amount to 70 to 80 percent. Let's zoom in to where you can firmly see the rough edges and overview the changes from our settings. In ship edges, make it around to 1 to 2 percent. Set the feather into 1%. The smart radius into 1% as well. The contrast should be at 35 to 40%. And lastly, the smooth should go around 30%. There you go. You can see the changes from rough to smooth edges of the selected photo. So click OK. To extract the white background on the right side palette, Turn off the Layer Visibility background. Then let's save as the file as a PNG format. At this point, I already have a background pattern in which I can easily edit the titles and arrangements of what has to be shown on my thumbnail. Here you can see the fonts that I am using regularly, my business logo, my channel logo, and the background. Please join me to edit my thumbnail.
So there you go. You don't have to waste your time cutting out the details, the important parts out of your photos using the cropping tools or the lasso to crop them out from its background. So if you want more tutorial like this, please do subscribe, ring that bell to notify you from more upcoming videos, and please do give me a thumbnail. I mean thumbs up. <laughs> Thank you so much.